get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> yep, I saw that. <laughs> God. Uh, 10 4. Stand by. I got a uh, reckless vehicle I'm out with here. 1023 panorama, but I'll be in route that in just a second. Is he missing? Yes, I can. Get in. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the uh, digits where he was lost at. En route. Temple. We got a missing officer, so I got to go find him. Or I would have got out with that guy. Oh, okay. Priorities, you know. Yeah, man, speaking of priority, like I pulled up into that shop and they were just like, oh, yeah, we'll fix it right now. Two seconds later, it's done. I'm going to have to remember to go back there. That shop was called uh, Mac and Stopple. I It didn't make any sense, but, you know, it is what it is. Copy. I'm going to get out on foot here. Go, car, car, car. Officer, get shotgun. Get in the back, Alex. Out. Get in, it's dorks! Safe, it's safer in the back anyways. Duck down, Mr. Sibby. <laughs> Sorry, I was already in, but somebody had to sit in the front seat. Yeah, I have a badge. You don't. Two which twenty. That's okay. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to say.
soon as I pull into the driveway here. Maybe we should call him. Oh, well, that's not working well. It's just the boat. Yeah, good job taking this piece of crap out because uh, yeah, 285 is not doing too well. Oh, I got him right in the head. Hello? Hey! So, oh, you want to get out? Yeah, you, you want to let me out the back, please? Yeah, sorry. Here you go. <laughs> All right, come on. Doors open. Ah, oh, thank you. I mean, it's nice and comfortable back there. I forgot about Alex back there. My bad, dude. Yeah, that other hey, guy go, had uh, to sit in the front. I'm going to go meet Sarge and uh, get a new car, new radio, new cell phone. <laughs> you need a ride, Greg. Get ready to leave. Uh, into the Alamo? Um, my car into the decided Alamo. Don't to you take sugarcoat it, a you hard right bitch. turn. Into the, um, into the Alamo. Because it was poorly made by somebody. How and, did you uh, even get over the berm? I don't know. It took flight. There's a reason I don't drive the Explorer. I, I don't know what happened, but something with that steering linkage? No bueno. Yeah, it sounds like operator error if you ask me. You guys like Yank, you need a ride, go. go ahead. Put your hand down, sir. No, I'll walk. All right. Thank you. See you later, man. You guys need anything else from me? Anything else I can do to help? I'm good. I might want to okay, check with Joe like... since he was the one getting oh. shot up. No worries. I think the coroner's here to come get this guy now. You ride back up front again, Alex. Oh, thank you. I think I could borrow that nice stick later and maybe uh, take it to that 005 guy. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he deserves it. Yeah, 10 more. Oh, well, that's a party boat. Dawson? They're okay. I just have to make sure that I tell them that they're got to be safe, you know? 
Oh, that's a nice truck. I had to get out and take a look at it. Look. That's very nice. Shores, I don't want you call me, sir. Well, you know that was intentional. Can you roll the window down? How's it going? Good. Yeah, it's definitely working. I'm sorry, I can't even get this way for the first section. How you doing, man? Officer Paul, Sandy Shores Police Department. Do you know I'm stopping? No, I don't. Okay, two things. One, you uh, definitely cleared the berm uh, when you came over there on uh, Panorama. You're doing 64 and a 50. And then oh, my I bad. Saw I was you. being chased. Some dude pulled a gun on me. Okay. And I also stopped you uh, earlier, but I had to take off for an officer that was uh, experiencing an issue. Um, for the same thing for speed that was 15 over the limit. Um, I understand you're in a Corvette, man, but you got to buy by the post. You didn't stop when you drove by me? So, I'm guessing uh, you, you haven't been taken in for that? You're not even wearing a vest. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know I had it. Well, I, have even, it. I mean, I haven't even. I'm just it. looking the I part. I town on vacation and everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I haven't, I haven't been on. I haven't been in town for a while. Okay. So, did you get the warrant and then leave town? Because, I mean, that's what usually bad guys will do. I, I left before July. You left before July? Yeah. So, you're saying that officer doesn't know what he's doing? Why are you behind me? We're going to take you into custody now, Mr. Anderson. No? Okay. <laughs> oh my, what's happening here? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Let's get in. All right, I'm in. <laughs> I was getting ready to get in, and next thing I knew, I was in your strapping arms. I just missed you. <laughs> I missed you, too. I loved every minute of it.
He's not southbound 13. I'm coming north on 13 from Joshua. Woo, overhead. <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> oh, okay. That's just, that's normal, this part of town. Yep. Need to get uh -huh. out of Polito Bay more. Yeah, I plan on uh, actually applying to a department up that way here in the future. Oh, nice. Patrol my my neighborhood. Yeah, man. Did uh did we lose them? I think we did. I think we're just waiting to see what happens. I'm gonna issue another warrant for them though. I will see him. He just stopped right there, Sean. All right. Shots fired by 901. Get out. No. Okay, get out or get tased. It's up to you, man. You shoot at me for. A misunderstanding. You're scaring me. Shooting at you and using rubber bullets to disable your tires is two different things, man. And fleeing from the cops, not the There's way to go. There's a bullet hole in my door. Yeah, well, rubber bullets have that effect sometimes.
good idea to run. Your speed, sir. Because you would not stop. continue on down here a mile and a half two miles down the road and that's where we are right now so it's not the fact that it means that we were trying to stop you to prevent you from making any more mistakes to put yourself and the rest of the public at risk it's the fact in which we were trying to stop you from potentially harming yourself and someone else driving down it's not personal it's not like we do this to you because we don't like you i i i I, I don't recall any previous reactions with you and if that's if, and, and, and that's merely because that i don't think i've ever had a bad interaction with you before I remember people that I don't interact with. You're not one of them. I'm just saying the choices that you made at this time were not, were not good choices. Here, here's my side, all right? I'll I'll listen to you. I was, I was driving fast. I understand I was driving mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. But you guys weren't behind me in a way that would lead me to believe you were attempting to pull me over. I saw you guys on the side of the road. But you also weren't behind me. And you, we you, were behind you, sir. The deputy was trying to call you out. He literally was calling you out over the radio and could not keep up with you in the vehicle because of the higher... You're in a Porsche. He was in a Ford Taurus. You said earlier, and I'm quoting you, that you could have been the other side of millennia if you wanted to be. And you were, brother. You were beyond the point in which where that tourist could catch up with you. And the only reason we were able to be in the position that we were is because we were looking for somebody else. Yeah, that uh, I have information on that red car if you wanna, if you wanna know about it. Well, we know who he is because he took off from me when I stopped him, and then he gave me his driver's license before he took off. I don't know why someone would do that, but he did. He's kind of an idiot. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure. It's not personal, dude. I, I, I would hope future interactions yeah. between you and I that I would not take this personally, man. It's not yeah, personal. We're for, sir. We have one still in at, at all. I just don't want you to get hurt, man. And I don't want you to hurt somebody else j just because you're afraid. You don't have to be afraid of us. How do you think we feel? I don't know what your intentions are, nor does any of the other officers know what your intentions are. Because then you choose to do what you did and then in our minds who knows what your intentions are because we couldn't even get you out of the car to figure out what was going on now if you would have told us when you got out of the car you couldn't hear the officer you didn't see the officer different story you know what i mean it puts us in a different situation and we can you know do an investigation we can talk to you we can potentially come to a different outcome but when you make the choices that you make you kind of tie our hands man i mean i don't know what else you want from us Again, it's not personal to you. Again, I hope you don't feel like that we're, we're picking on you by any means, but we're not, but we have a job to do. I mean, you, you gotta understand, you've seen my record, or at least this other deputy has, deputy. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a long and lengthy experience with you, and some of them haven't been great. Not you, I, I don't mean you, but uh, sure. you know, I've, I understand. I've had, the, the entity as a whole, I understand. I've had officers tase me off cliffs, I've been punched in the face it's just usually Sorry, not a good too. interaction so well i want you, know. you to know that the rubber bullets that i was firing at your vehicle was not intended to end your life it was meant to immobilize your vehicle sir not again just 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 a meaningful way to get you to stop from potentially putting yourself and other motoring vehicles at risk it was not intended to end your life whatsoever so just 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 for clarity because, again, I give every citizen the benefit of the doubt in the state, regardless of your past. And I want you to understand something, too. Your past choices are not a reflection of how myself or my other colleague over here, this deputy, are going to treat you. We could care less about your choices in the past because choices in the past are the past. No one here is a historian, man. People make decisions. They learn from those decisions and mistakes, and they grow. They either choose to continue down that life of choices or they don't. They divulge from them, themselves on those choices and they end up on a different path in life. How would I know that you're that same person? I don't know that. Sure, you've made bad choices in your past, but that doesn't mean I can't give you the benefit of the doubt that you're a different person and you're a different man and I can't treat you as such. But you have to understand, if you have a record like you do in your past and you make the choices like you did today, what do you expect from us when you make essentially the same choices and the choices in which that reflect the past in which you have. Help me out. You understand what I mean? 
I appreciate you, officer. You, you. I do too. I appreciate you, man. You have to understand there's two sides of my job as a law enforcement officer. It's enforce them to educate and to understand and listen. I, I am behind the badge of human being too, man. And I understand that people, in, in, especially in today's environment, our world's a scary place. We're not here to scare you. But at the same time, too, we have an obligation to not just you, but everybody else that lives in our state of San Andreas. Right? So it's not I know, personal. I know. And I'm not trying to jam you up by any means. I'll tell you what, I'll cut you a break on the ticket, and we'll just give you the charge, uh, the charges for the arrest, okay? I'm not going to write you a citation. We'll take any money out of your pocket. You'll have to just appear in front of the judge. We'll give you a summons. How about that? We'll get you on down the road. I appreciate you, man. I really do. You're uh, uh, again, one Max, of the good ones. One of the good I, ones. I want you to understand, too, in future endeavors... If you see me in Sandy or wherever, I don't feel any admiration towards you whatsoever. I don't dislike you. I don't hate you. I'm just a police officer doing my job. That's it. I, and, I, and I hope you would think that way about the rest of my colleagues that wear the other uniforms. I understand everybody is different and they do things differently, but I don't want you to be afraid. And in the future, if you do see me and you have a problem, please don't hesitate to come and approach me, okay? I appreciate it, officer. You are, you are, I mean it when I say one of the good ones. All right, hang out with my colleague here from the county. I want to get you a summons, and I'll be right back with you. All right, Max? Yeah, I appreciate right. it. No problem, man. Oh, God. Brutality. Oh, my God. Sir, you should have seen the size of the spider on your, on your leg there. This is why I'm afraid of you guys. Sir, no, it was a black widow who was about to bite, and I had to kick it off the lake. I don't want to lose you today, okay? Look, I'm afraid of you guys. No, I, I, look, I get it. I think it, I think I understand how, from your point of view, it might seem like I just wanted to beat you up. But, sir, I saved your life. I squashed that black widow, okay? After My specialty is saving you, lives. That big monologue about how you're not all bad, and then you yeah. just hit me. Yeah, I totally chest. just shat all over that. Yeah. on this envelope I just need you to sign your copy it's just gonna give you a notice to appear okay in front of the judge and uh, I would suggest talking to your attorney and seeing if you can work something out within the state of the so you can find the court to the court in reference to what happened with Ray. explain everything and they'll take it into account and then maybe they can work something out with you understand what I'm saying so instead of going to jail tonight I'll give you a non-custodial arrest and we can get you on that hey I, I appreciate that officer I really do Again, Matt, it's it's my pleasure. Man. Like I said, one of the good ones. And I appreciate that. I, I find you to be easy to work with. And you are not. I don't. I will not reflect upon our previous interactions in the future when I run into it. Same here. Same here. Yeah, this other deputy remains to be seen. But you, uh, I will maintain a level of decorum, otherwise not seen by myself or other officers. I appreciate that, Max. Do you have any questions for me before I let you go, my man? Not at this time, no. Thank you. All right. Well, you're welcome to uh, continue on with your evening, and uh, you take care. Have a good night. 
Uh, too, officer right. and deputy. Take care. Thank you. You should. Uh, there was. I, it was just yeah. a really big spider. Oh, did you did you punch the spider off? Yeah, dude. This big, big ass black widow crawls up on his leg and is like, you know what? I'm gonna kill this guy. And I saw it just before it was about to sink its little fangs into his into his leg. I said, not today. Is that what not you said today, before you, you be before you took him out? You just leave the force. I said it in my head. I said oh, in my okay. head, and then I ki okay. I kicked this I just kicked the shit out of the black widow, stomped it, <laughs> and unfortunately, you know, I kicked the man in the process, but I saved his life. I think he became a better man because of that. I saw the I, whole I, thing. I, I he needs accommodation. So. Like, to to yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, you know, he, he would have been dead. If I hadn't done that, he'd have been dead right there, forcing with venom. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He wouldn't have uh, been walking away from this tonight. He no, would have been in an ambulance without this man's yeah. service right here. I salute you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm out of here. You guys hug it out or do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> the only arms reserved for this man are in this car right here. That's right. What a night, man. Yeah, it's been a crazy one, man. Jeez. Been busy. I just like that my like hatred towards Sandy Shores, not you, but just the town and the crime in this town was reaffirmed with my own personal vehicle being stolen in front of the police station of all things. Hey, man, I'm only one cop. I can only take it one day at a time. You know what I'm saying, baby? Yeah, I just I wish they could clone you, you know, get like ten Paul F's around here. <laughs> uh, if only. I don't know if that'd be good. I don't know if everybody would say the, the share the same admiration that you would. Well, as long as it's not that double O five guy. <laughs> <laughs>